Hello and welcome to Studio 18 in the Pines, where the new show is The Magic of Light, which is all photography and, and some of the most beautiful photography that you can see is right here at Studio 18. Let's go see some. Say hello to Amelia Mohammed, who put this a beautiful photography show together. This, these are all photographers from one photography group, right? Yes, that's correct. They're from the Pines West Camera Club. And they do great work. They so do. It's a pleasure to see, see them hanging here. Oh, yes. They're beautiful. And they're displayed beautifully. And um, it, it shows beautifully on the walls. Yeah, you must does. come out and see it. Yes. Yeah, come on out to Studio 18 in the Pines while this photography exhibit is up because it's a delight. It really is beautiful work. Yes, it is. Please come out and, and check out the work. These photographs are by Jose Andahar and they're nature at its absolute best. It's, they're just beautiful. And I love, I love your scenery, the scenes that, that you choose to shoot are just beautiful. That's what uh, drives me. When I go to like into this river, I look at it, and I see that water going, flowing through the rocks, and uh, it really, you know, I get, you know, yeah, it <laughs> just makes talking you feel about it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. I really love it. I like uh, Florida for certain things. Like, there's no way in Florida, I mean, there's no, uh, Better place for it, sunset, sunrise, oh, yes. oh, unbelievable. Oh, absolutely, yes. You have plenty to photograph here, right here in Florida. Oh, yeah. we have the Everglades. That's uh, enough yeah. uh, to go all life. Uh, I mean, all your life. It's beautiful. It has all the ecosystem that you can think of. All the, I, I hope mean, they don't drill for oil. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> and spoil our beautiful Everglades. Definitely. I, we, we and would for somebody that. like you who looks at it through a, a lens of a camera, and uh, you know, you... We keep doing it and doing it. Uh, hopefully, we put a little uh, sun, uh, uh, a piece of sun in uh, somebody's uh, thoughts. Jose, thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you. This nature photographer is Carol Ede, and her work is just beautiful. Look at this. Look at this work. Carol, you're, when did you start your photography well, experience? Well, I started seriously in 2009 when my family gave me my first digital. And you always do nature studies. I, that's what makes my heart sing, yes. I do other subjects but I love nature yeah yeah me yeah. too I'm drawn I to love it. it I love being out in nature and the peace and beauty of it so you use a digital camera I use digital yes and that's easy isn't it easier than it's easier what? than film in the sense that you can get immediate feedback and if you don't like something that you're doing yeah. you can correct it right yeah. away so yeah that's yeah. great yeah it's really a great learning tool and then what, what do you do? It, you just have it printed? Yeah, well, I do my post-processing. On this one, I, prob I darken the background more because I like clean backgrounds. And then I had it printed. And there it is. It's beautiful. So, thank you. So good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome.
This is Jerry Biddlecombe, and he is, he's actually representing the photography group, are you not? Uh, I'm the president of the club, Pines West Camera Club, yes. And, and the work behind us is his fabulous work. He's a wonderful photographer in his own right, as in addition to being president of the group. And we're happy to have him hanging here today. Tell me, what, what kind of camera do you use? Yeah, I, I used to shoot film many years ago, uh, but now digital really is the way to go. Uh, you know, you, all you have to do is you take a picture, you can take out 500 pictures, and look in the back of the camera, and if 350, 400 pictures didn't turn out, you just hit a button and delete them. <laughs> you don't have to. You don't have to send them to um, right, a, lab, to a lab. Wait 36 hours and find out that 50% uh, of them didn't turn <laughs> out. So you know, you know immediately. So you no, know, it's it's in many ways it's it's it has its advantages over film. You will get an argument that film still has better overall quality tonal range yeah, and all that. Yeah, there's something about a, the quality of for for me. Black and white has more quality than, than color. Yes, well, that's uh, a lot of that is because that's the history of photography. Is for what 150 years, black and white color is a relatively well, so recent you, development. You get shadings in black and yes. white that you can't get in color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and, and it's, of course, there's constant arguments going back and forth. I see you do both. I love black and white. Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's uh, to me, there's there's room for both uh, color and, and black yeah, and white. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. Mm -hmm. I prefer black and white, but sure, sure. You know, uh, and the, the funny thing is, kind of, it, it's kind of ironic. The history of painting, for the most part, is color. Yeah. And yet, one of the most famous paintings of you know uh, that we have today, or the 20th century, was uh, kind of a monochrome by uh, Picasso, uh, Guernica. That's uh, right. And it's just sort of the opposite. The history of, <laughs> of photography is the most famous pictures, like you know Ansel Adams, etc., is black and white, and now it's mostly in, in color. So. Yeah. Kind of have that uh, reverse history. Well, I think there's room for, for all of it. Yeah, absolutely. I certainly agree. So, and I think that you do a great job. So thank you very much well, for what you do f and, and for what you do for the city of Pembroke Pines. Oh, thank you very much. Very nice words. Nice, thank nice you. to Thanks very talk much. to you. Thank you. Same here. Thank you. So come to Studio 18 in the Pines and see this beautiful art exhibit of the best in photography that's happening today. It's really lovely and worth your time. For OCTV, I'm Elaine Kugelman, and thank you for joining me today on this tour.